ACIM Insights Lesson 107 Truth Will Correct All Errors in My Mind Anytime I feel anxious, impatient, hurried, unhappy, guilty, or less than peaceful in any way, it is a sign that I am believing in error. I am making an error real in my mind. Truth will correct that error in my mind and return me to the place of calm so deep it cannot be disturbed. Truth is everywhere, ever present. There is no place I need to go, no place I need to be to find the truth. It is always with me. I only need to stop holding barriers against the truth, stop believing in error. This is the undoing referred to in the Course. I need do nothing to find the truth, but I do need to stop interfering with the awareness of truth. It is the feverish attempt to hold on to illusions and make them real that bars truth from healing my mind. As I stop holding on to error, the truth will enter of its own because truth is what I am in reality. So today I ask my one self to walk with me and guide my vision to recognize the illusions I have made that stand in the way of my awareness of truth. I accept his strength as mine and use that strength to let illusions go. It is the strength of the one self in me through which I forgive the world, forgive myself, and let truth correct all illusions in my mind. I rest in peace and gratitude in the strength of myself. The weight of the world is lifted from my shoulders, for the errors of the world are corrected as I let truth correct the errors in my mind. God's peace is mine. I accept it now. With gratitude, I offer that peace to all the world. When I closed my eyes, I was shown a movie theater. The way to see the movie in this theater was to look through the body's eyes. Through the body's eyes, pictures were seen where everything appeared to be separate and distant, different and unique. Many stories arose while looking through the body's eyes, and gradually I found myself becoming more and more engrossed with the stories. They seemed very real. These stories were about individual lives where individual identities lived and died. There were stories of victory and tragedy, competition, life, and death. As I became more and more engrossed in the stories, I felt feelings of fear, elation, lack, anxiety, struggle, hanging on and constant ever-changing ups and downs. The stories went on and on with one problem after another. My anxiety level went up and down with all the constant changes in the stories. The stories are tiring. I ask for a better way. I am told to step back from the stories by ever so little, to detach my mind from them. I am asked to let my mind be quiet and give the stories a rest. As I do this, I am brought to an inner place of quiet, a place of inner peace. An inner voice tells me that these stories are not real. These stories are hallucinations brought on by the desire to see individuality, specialness, separation from oneness. I ask, how do I detach from the stories? They seem so real it seems impossible to detach from them. The inner voice says, you can with help. If you don't want to detach from the stories, you won't. If you want to detach from the stories, you will. Truth will enter into your mind as it is given welcome. Practice giving welcome to the truth a little at a time every day. The more you practice, the stronger your welcoming the truth muscles grow. You want to walk in the truth, but you must practice it. 
at first a little and then more and more. The more you practice, the stronger your willingness to welcome the truth becomes. The truth is always there waiting on welcome. The truth will always show you that stories are not real. Individuality could never be real. What you see through the body's eyes is not real. You are infinite spirit, the eternal spirit of love, joy and peace. You are changeless. You are thought in the mind of love. Love gives to all equally. There is no division of any kind. All is one. All is love. The stories are not real. They are barriers to the truth. As you practice welcoming the truth, the truth will correct all errors in your mind. The veil will be lifted and you will be set free from the self-imposed tyranny of the stories of separation. Take time out to let the truth correct all errors in your mind. Nothing is more important than this. I agree that nothing is more important. I am more aware of my stories as stories and more determined to let them go. But I notice that many of the stories have the same theme, even though the stories are different. I read a couple of articles that talked about the need for struggle as a core belief. We sometimes say something like, God uses our struggles to help us grow. The article suggested new core beliefs based on learning through joy and peace. I think that this is true of me, and I am glad for these last several sessions, which emphasizes joy and peace. Getting a little distance from my stories, I can see that I have been more comfortable with struggle than with peace. I have been believing that I can get more done through struggle, and peace is perhaps a reward for struggling. I am excited at the idea of a new, happier way of living.